Making mashed potatoes is not just dropping a potato in boiling water and smashing it after and hoping for the best. It's all about tender love and care. TLC. And since I love mashed potatoes, I'm going to show you how to use mashed potatoes four different ways. There's two types of potatoes, and this one is like the brown, like average potato, right? And then there's this potato that's called the Yukon Gold Potato. And the difference between both of them is that this brown potato is used as a thickening agent for soups and stews and something that your mom would use just to do that. And Yukon Gold Potatoes are especially made or especially grown for mashed potatoes because the fibers inside this potato are more loose than this potato which makes it creamier and softer and perfect for the best mashed potato and this is the difference you can see how this one is more gold than this one this one if you touch it is like dry and this one is a little wet so you see what I mean by creamy and dry so now I'm gonna show you guys how to make the best mashed potato first you peel the potato obviously right and then you cut it on into like medium cubes so it will be faster to boil How do you know when your potato's ready? Whenever you take a toothpick and put it through the potato and you feel no resistance. So make sure whenever you take your potatoes out of the water to drain them really, really well. This little contraption here is called a ricer. What basically it does is that it makes uh, your potatoes really creamy by breaking down the fibers and well, yeah. So here we start. After we drain our potatoes, you place it inside the little ricer cup that brings. And you press it down and you'll see that the potatoes are coming out like little strands of spaghetti. So that's what you got. And you keep doing this all until you're done. So this is your base for your mashed potatoes, Shepherd's pie, and papa rellena. So here, I'm gonna show you how to make the best and easiest mashed potatoes you'll ever have in your life. One of my hacks is to take your heavy cream, and not milk, and boil it in a small pan so the enzymes of the milk will break so when you go ahead and put it in your potato it won't be like lumpy milk it'll be like smooth and creamy milk so as this is going on you put two tablespoons of butter so that it'll all incorporate and melt all together so i'm gonna put it in right now and you eyeball it so it won't be like super creamy super liquidy mashed potato so it won't do that so you put it little by little if you need more, then you put more. If you don't need any more, you don't put any more. As you can see, we obviously need more. So we're gonna put more. Add your salt. Is it adding? Yeah. Salt and pepper. Mixing, you mixing, you mixing, you mixing, you mix. After adding your milk, your butter, your salt, and your pepper, you mix all of that stuff together with the potatoes. Then, for the final thing, you do my kitchen hack with my favorite ingredients, green onions, and you put it inside your potato. Yummy. All right, so this is the final product of what we did for you guys today. So, 
Catch me on Instagram at Chef Jellies. Don't forget to subscribe and comment for more recipes that you guys want.